Okay, let's see. I'm two minutes late in being live, and let's see. Let's put some lotion on these here hands. Good afternoon, everybody. Those who know that I'm going live. So, let's see. Today we're coming at you with some oldies but goodies. I am going to be using my BH Cosmetics palettes. Beautiful in Barcelona against the Fusions Enchanted palette. Hi, Starbella. How are you? How is your Sunday going? Y'all don't usually see me on Sundays, but I thought, why not? I was going to go live yesterday, but my sister had an unfortunate accident. Her truck was total. She's okay. Some, uh, It was storming here yesterday, and I think she should have had her behind at her house. And she was out because... Uh, she caters and uh, she was out in the streets and some young man was in the streets probably driving too fast and he hit someone she was at a stoplight he hit someone and flew across the median and hit her so she was he totaled two trucks plus his own car but a loss everybody's good Everybody's good. And I was going to get my eyebrows done. I got my eyebrows done yesterday. Uh, let me try to adjust this light. And I'm back home. I was at her house this morning. Uh, babysitting her grandkids and my mom while she was at church. And uh, I'm glad she's okay. Thank God she's okay. So she's she's okay. She was able to go to church this morning. And she's good. And he was fully insured. So It is kind of warm in my house. Whew. Okay. So, what am I going to start with? I am going to fix my eyebrows with this LA girl. Usually I come on and I like to have this done so I don't keep y'all long. But because I did have my eyebrows finally threaded yesterday I can see the difference in discoloration between where my eyebrows were and my skin and let's find some brushes to use hmm. It's only so much stuff that I can pull out. If I pull out too much, it'll all come crashing down. So, Starbella, how is your Saturday going? Sunday is Sunday. How's your Sunday going? Okay. 
I don't want to put too much of this on. So I'll follow up with the it could be better. It's uh after all of that rain here yesterday, um, yesterday even around four, I guess about four o'clock, the sun finally decided to show up. And then this morning it was still a little over it was a little overcast. And now the sun is out and it's a mild afternoon. I think it's in the high 60s. So people are out in their shorts and flip flops. And I believe it's supposed to warm up a little this week. So we may have a warm Christmas, which is OK with me. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Happy Sunday, Marilyn. So I actually wanted to come live yesterday and that's why I went ahead and as I got in my car going to get my eyebrows done, it was when she called me to tell me she was in an accident. And the first thing I was like, well, you just can't sit your behind down somewhere, but I'm glad she's okay. But if it was storming out, why are you out in the streets knowing we in Houston, we don't drive like it's raining outside. We drive just like it's a regular dry day. And uh, she's out. But then I was out. But my excuse is she was out further than me. She was out close to where I live. I was just down the street. All right. That's my eyebrows. Why you can't keep up with me? Why can't you keep up with me? I'm here. I'm going to be here. I hope I can go live. To, well, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I have a dental appointment tomorrow afternoon. So. Um. I kind of wanted to go live early in the day, but because of that dental appointment, I'm not going live until I don't think it's any, I don't think I'm having anything done that's gonna prevent me from coming, but you know what? I'm not gonna set this. I'm not going to set it. I'm going to keep it tacky. And I'm actually going to... I'm going to see if I can add a black base. I'm going to see. I have several black bases. I have the Elf Putty Primer. I have the NYX. Let's see if the NYX works. Marilyn, why can't you keep up with me? I've had this for the NYX. I've had for a while, so it seemed like it's kind of dry, but I've never opened it. This is the first time I've ever opened it. I 
It's football Sunday. Y'all are not out watching football? My Texans are losing. They're in the third quarter. And I think they're four and nine right now. This has just been an awful season for my Texans. I've had this black base for some years now, and this actually was my first time ever opening it up. And I'm gonna store it back upside down. And then I'm going to go over it, if I can find it in my face. I'm gonna go over it with the black base NYX pencil. If y'all only knew, there you go. Hold on a second. Wasn't my plan to be getting up, but I never even opened this one. So let's just go with the LA girl. One of them is open. Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, really, Marilyn? I can say most of the days that when I'm working, I'm going to come on between four. 30 and 5 o'clock, so about 4.45. That's usually when I'll come on, my time, central time. And today I just decided to do it um, Because I didn't do it yesterday. Like it was my actually my plan to do it yesterday. And because of my sister's accident, I couldn't come on yesterday. And I was telling Star, she's okay. Her car was total. Her truck was total. Somebody hit her as she was sitting at a stoplight. And... Um, Thank God her grandkids, she went, she just has a little shoulder pain, but she's all right. That girl is all right. But I'm, I'm, I'm planning on going live just about, I'm off the next two weeks. And aside from tomorrow, which I know tomorrow in the morning, I'm taking my mom to her dialysis. And then I have a dental appointment. Thank you, Marilyn. She's okay. She's, she's okay. So again, these are the two palettes that I'm using, Beautiful in Barcelona. Beautiful in Barcelona and The Enchanted. Now, in just Rhea's video yesterday, she did a live yesterday. And last Saturday, I purchased the BH Cosmetics Pistachio Palette. That was my last palette for 2020 and I'm not buying any palettes in 2021, so I would not be buying any more makeup until January 1st, 2022. But I forgot, and I was in Walmart yesterday morning, and I purchased this Enchanted palette, and it's all shimmers. So I already broke my no-buy rule, and I said I was going to return it. But... 
That means I had to go back to Walmart. And when I go to Walmart, I end up spending money. And this is the whole purpose of my no buy is to stay out of Walmart, stay out of Target, stay out of all those places where I go and I spend money. I do my groceries now by delivery. So I now broke my no buy. I'm being honest, but now we are officially back on our no buy. And no, I didn't take the palette back. So in this palette, I'm going to start with this color, Abstract. I don't know if this is a bluish purple, uh, a duochrome. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Let's see. It didn't pick up. Let's see. It could be a topper shade. You know. I'm still going to use it. How's your Sunday going, Marilyn? Are you okay? I'm going to take that color and I'm just going to put it right here on top of that black. I can see the difference here. But You can see the difference. I probably should have gone with a lighter color. Have y'all done y'all's Christmas shopping? I haven't done any, well, I bought my son's girlfriend, I bought her, her present, my son's present, what he wants, it's not going to get here until probably late January, and then his birthday is the day after Christmas. So, but I don't think I'm going to see him for Christmas. Maybe his birthday. I don't know. But my gift arrives tomorrow from them. And he said, I can't open it until Friday. But I think if it comes to my house, I should have the right to open it whenever I want to. Okay. It's still a little too dark, so I'm going to try to go over it. I don't have a lighter color that I can use, and these are the only two palettes that I want to use. Now I'm going to try Flamenco. Oh, my goodness. This shade here. Whoa, can y'all even see? Let me bring this closer. Seems like y'all are too far away. Okay, let me, let me bring y'all closer. Oops. 
Yeah, I, I think the boy was probably driving too fast and um, he may have been on his phone, but she never said if the police said he was on his on his phone. Okay, that's that's with a dry brush. You guys see that? And I'm just gonna bring it all the way out. That is the prettiest shade in this palette. That's the shade right there, Flamenco. Wow, that is so... I wonder what happened if I wet it. Let's see. This is not a Sunday afternoon look. This is a Saturday night look. Let's see if it's too late for me to put this down. I forgot to put it on. I don't see a black. There's not a black. Matt. Hi, Sarah. Good afternoon. It's kind of too late to put this down, but I'm still going to try and see if I can just bring that whatever color this is. Beautiful in Barcelona. All the way out. How's your Sunday? Yeah. Just bring it. Probably need to bring it all the way up. My Sunday is going good. Today is the first day since Thursday that I've just been able to sit down and, well, we can't even say today because I was up at six o'clock this morning going to my sister's house to babysit her grandkids and our mom while she went to church. That is dark. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we have tea. I also had, I didn't put this in the uh, description, but we have Love in London, which is also BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to take tea, this shimmer, shimmer gray. I'm going to take that one and see if I can just lighten up. the inner part 
And if it doesn't give me what I want, then Still need a lighter silver, I believe. Y'all see outside the sun? It's so pretty. It's so pretty out there today. After that righteous weather yesterday. And I'm, I'm going to try to layer it one more time. Even it didn't, it just rained till about four o'clock. Till about four o'clock. And then I'm not supposed to be using any other palettes. So we're going to stick with this one. So abstract. It is a duo chrome. And it's creamy. It's not, it's a creamy shimmer duo chrome. Yeah, it's about. Let's see how cold is it outside. Oh, it's 70. Oops. Sorry, it's 70 degrees outside. Okay. So let's Yeah, it's 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 today is a good day. It's beautiful out there. I know my neighbors right behind me, they were working in their yard this uh, when I got home this afternoon. So it's a good day to be working in your yard, <laughs> but I'm not. All right, so this is what I'll have to do. Because there's not a light enough shimmer gray tone gray silver tone in this palette nor in this palette is still not giving me the lighter color that I want. This is more of a neutral the beautiful, the, this is the live in London BH Cosmetics palette. But the beautiful in Barcelona, I just think this palette is so this palette is gorgeous cheeriness. Hello 29 degrees, no 70 70 degrees out there and this is a smoky, sexy palette. There's nothing in here that's light. So I'm going to have to, this is a palette that I found at TJ Maxx, this NYX foil, Love Lust Disco. I'm gonna see if I can take this silver. I'm gonna see if I can take this one And give me what I'm looking for. This was like a oh, I I found this one. Uh, this girl and I were like fighting over the palettes, not fighting, but. She was going to get this one, and after I said she could have it, I kind of wanted it back for myself. And then I found another one 
with a pink in it. And I knew I didn't want that one, a pink and purple in it. And I asked, I said, can we trade? And she said, yeah. And I took this one. And everybody was safe when she decided to let me have it. Oh, okay. I speaking of wedding wow, I had another those old runway palettes. I still have those that have never been touched. Cheeriness, how is outside of 29 degrees in Detroit? How is your day going? Your I think your does Detroit play this afternoon? Does, uh, do y'all have a game coming up this afternoon? No, we weren't bartering in TJ Maxx. We were gonna fight. Now we weren't gonna fight. We were gonna, we were gonna, we were gonna lightly argue because I was being nice when I gave her the palette. Okay, so what I want to do now. The thing with these palettes, the colors that are matte are brown colors. I don't need a brown matte color. I need I need a matte black. And y'all, I didn't think this through. I only did this right before. I came on. So I didn't think this looked through. So we are really working. Okay, this is the only one I see. I have to go with the Book of Magic. This is the only one I see. That has a black that I can get in my hands right this second. And I just want to bring that black out here. And now what I'll do is take I'm going to take an angle brush And I actually would love to take a, a, a soft black and just, but I'll take this, this color. Let's go back to London, Barcelona. We're going Bar Carnation. We'll take Carnation, which is this brown and we're gonna put that here. I still believe I need the Book of Magic because it's, it's magic. And I need to take this, it's not amethyst. What color is that? Amulet. Oh. I'm gonna take amulet and vanish. Vanish and amulet. And Okay, oops, and now let's get a clean brush. I'm 
brush that I was going to set with and just gonna see if we can blend out a little of that edge. And then I think we'll just bring a, some more light color to that. And my head is such a mess. Okay. Okay. It still did work. Now, now we're going to take Let me go back and see what y'all said. I need, I enjoy watching your TJ Maxx finds. Thank you. Uh, yes, I did. Did I go in TJ Maxx yesterday? No, only because it was raining. So I did not go in there yesterday. And I thought about going last night because I passed by it on the way home from my sister's house. But because um, it was already after six o'clock and it was dark, I just came on home. So you're not a Lions fanatic. I'm a Texans fan. Um, this tape, I couldn't find it. Usually the Kroger's right outside of my neighborhood. That's where I first purchased it. But this tape is $3, I think, at, on the Elf website um, and in the store. So if you can get your hands on it, it contains 40 strips. So it's like five sheets in here are four sheets of 10 in here and I'm only finishing my first sheet ever. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have enough to last. And then there's another tape that you can get. Um, there's a tape that you can buy This is, I, okay, this is a tool I bought at Ulta to help get these edges also, but I don't know how to use it, and I've never used it. So, this right here, Ulta also carries the tape, but if you ask me, uh, it contains one 15 by 5 foot 15 is 15 by five foot tape. I'm not, I haven't used it. I haven't even opened it yet, but the elf is easier to me. I just cut them in half. So these are long enough to where you just use one and cut it in half. So they last. So now I'm going to take my I don't know. Believe the five dollar primer. That's a wet and wild primer too. Hold on. Let's go with the elf. Let's use it. No, you know what? Me being indecisive. Everybody talks about the jelly pop. Let's try the jelly pop. Everybody says it's like milk. The milk uh, makeup primer. And I've never used the milk makeup primer. And I've never used this one. So let's try this one. So. I would assume you don't need a lot. So this is my first time trying it.
No, I don't have any Fenty. Can you believe it? I don't have I don't have any Fenty products. I was telling Dr. Ash and her makeup, Ashley. She was like, you don't? I have none. Every time I go in Sephora, I guess the only way I'll buy it is probably if it comes to TJ Maxx, but I have nothing from Fenty. I, I, I did go in to purchase the Fenty Foundation um, back. Uh, and, I, and instead of getting the Fenty, when the um, that little girl woman, when Rare Beauty came out, I, I bought it instead. So Rihanna still lost out and I haven't bought I haven't bought any of her stuff. Not a lipstick, not a gift set, nothing. No re-re. And I like her. I don't dislike her. I just haven't purchased any of her products. And I may... Uh, I think I'm going to stick to more budget products. If I like it, I like it. I like Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And since I like it, I'm going to stick with it. So I'll be using a lot of that. I, I won't be buying it. So you let me know how you like it. A cut crease is done to um, don't have me lying. <laughs> I was trying to look real smart right there, but I think it's just to make it look sharper. Um, I don't know. I think it's just to make that area with, that they're trying to, where they cut the crease, they're just trying to make it look sharper. And it also still, because you're putting a product down like, like an LA girl or this is even turning another color. Or the uh, they stopped making this, but they brought it back um, on the Makeup Revolution. It'll stick. It'll make your product stick to it. But um, when Marlene, Marlene, Marlo does a video, Marlo Keenan, we'll have to ask her. But I, I don't know. I honestly, I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I brought out three primers Friday. And I said I'm going to use one of these, the Makeup Revolution primers. Conceal and define. Conceal and define. Conceal and hydrate. I'm going to use the conceal and hydrate. It's in the number 12 or 13. F13. Oh, it has a pump. I thought it did. The other ones don't have pumps. Okay, so. So, Miss Sarah, I'll ask. Um, it, to me, they use it just to be more creative. Um, I said I was going to try a cut crease. Let me just use water instead. I like to put water on my foundation brush. So. I haven't tried their primer. The only Maybelline that I have is the foundation, the Fit Me and the powder. Um, and I like them both. The Maybelline Fit Me is my number one drugstore. The Stay Naked is my number one uh, prestige. Again, I did get the Estee Lauder that everybody was talking about, the facelift in a jar. And I ordered honey. And usually when I look at a jar of honey, a hun honey matches my skin tone. That honey was for white honey. 
it didn't match me. So I sent it back. And this was at the beginning of the pandemic. So the stores were not even open. So I just mailed it back and uh, I never replaced it. I never wanted it, wanted it again. So I don't feel like I need a facelift in a jar. And what I'll have to do again is also start looking for my um, winter shades. I never really looked at that uh, before, but now because of the pandemic and being at home in the house all the time, all these foundations are my summer shades because they're all orange. What I'm seeing in this mirror I had this cute mirror right here that I stole from my mom's house. Y'all don't tell nobody. But when nobody else using it, she don't stay there. So I got the mirror. And I'm the only one that plays in makeup. Well, oh, my niece, Von, Vonna Chanel. She has her own company now that she launched on Instagram. I've shared some of her pictures. So if you guys want to get Christmas gifts, consider looking at her page because I want to support her. She's family. And I'm going to go in with this 12.5. This is the regular Conceal and Define. And I'm going to try to use that to... I feel like I feel like a Oompa Loompa right now. And what I didn't understand is when this first came out, everybody, when this first came out, that's not the right color. When this first came out, the Conceal and Define, everybody was using shade F13. Even ladies darker than me were using sh uh, this shade. And I'm like, why are they using this shade? I use this shade. But F12.5, you can only get online. And I ordered it online and it was actually too light. But I now see I need this in a lighter color because this is too dark. Can you tell it's too dark? This is a tan in a jar. Can y'all tell that this is jar that this is dark? Yes or no? Can y'all tell? This is this dark. So I'm going to go in with a real light foundation uh, concealer. I'm going to use the dark. I can't see this. <laughs> dark 36. This is dark. This is honey for white people. This is honey for white people. This is honey for black people. This is honey for light people. I didn't say white light. So. um, Let me go back just a little. Let me go back just a little. Let's see. Oh, the lions. Are, oh, no, no, no. That's the lions. Um, Drew Brees. Oh, God. I'm not keeping y'all here long. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We're not going anywhere. Church is over with. They don't have Sunday evening service like they did when we was growing up, y'all, where your mama had you in church. At the church I grew up in here in Houston, we had Sunday school in the morning, and then we had BTU 
we called it BTU, BTYU and BTU. Uh, we had that after Sunday school and then we had Sunday service. Then we came home to eat and Sunday service stayed forever. <sighs> Sunday service was like to three o'clock. And then you had six o'clock service. And my mom didn't go to, uh, she didn't go to Baptist training union or Sunday school. She sent us. And our church, we had the school buses, those Thomas built buses. And she sent us to school because she stayed at home and cooked Sunday dinner for our dad and the family. And I never get this line right. So um, but needless to say, we have church. Uh, the, the Lions are playing, not the Lions, the Florida League. I'm looking at the Florida League, New Orleans, the Saints. They are playing, gosh darn it, y'all, Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs in an hour. That's going to be a good game. Drew Brees versus the Young Super Bowl. Champ, that's going to be a good one. Y'all, that cold pop drive fast. Oh, now let me go back to cheeriness. The boxy charm. Everything is still sitting in the box. I am so disappointed with this boxy charm. And I already said, I'm going to give January, February a chance. And if I don't like it, I told my son, I'm going to let him out of his contract. And we're going to cancel it. Because I'm not all that impressed. That Huda Obsessions purple palette, amethyst palette, that is old. Why would you give us a, an old palette in a December box. I know a lot of people don't do that, but I like using my foundation brush to, to do the concealer. Um, I couldn't tell the difference between the ripping primer and this, but I mean, I don't, I've never tried the gripping. What I'm saying is I, I don't know the difference if there really is a difference. Uh, I'm still looking for uh, the milk to show up in TJ Maxx, but I can't buy it if I see it, but my son can. So is it me buying it if he sends me the money and I buy it? On his behalf, is it the same? I'm going to use the bad habit. I'm trying to get bad habit, even though you can't get this anymore. I think Shop Hush, not Shop Hush, Shop Alter Ego may have theirs. I don't know if they've come out with their version of it yet, but bad habit is back, but it's skincare. It's not makeup. So I said I wanted to try the, the white bad habit translucent primer to set my under eye. And this is so, this sister is so good that you can't get the product now. So I don't know if I'm going to stick with BoxyCharm after February. I have to really be amazed come uh, February because I'm just not, I'm not impressed. But I do like the Boxy pop-up. The pop-up was fine.
Oh, when my niece came by right before I went live, I could have given her the box, the the liquid lipsticks that came in the I think the October, November box. I don't remember which one. I got the November before I got the October. And the liquid lipsticks they sent, I'll never use them. That matte lipstick, I won't use it. I don't like liquid lipsticks and I don't like matte lips. Um, I have this Tammy uh, Makeup Revolution Paradise Glow Tammy. I'm going to use this to contour. I'm going to see if I can contour the side of my nose. That's kind of dark. That's really dark. That's really, really dark. And why am I adding more if that's really dark? <laughs> So I'm going to take the bronzer, which I don't think I really need the bronzer because the foundation itself, ooh, that was too dark. I got this one because I wanted this color blush, this blush, but it looks like these two colors are getting, they're getting me. These are a little too dark. It's okay right there. Let me go down and see what y'all are saying. Miss Parker. Hi, Miss Parker. I'm sorry. I didn't see. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't scroll down, so I didn't see you. How's your Sunday? And you're not late. Thank you, Miss Parker. I love saying Miss Parker. Okay, I think I'm going to take some of, uh, I'm going to keep everything in a budget mind. Have I used anything that's not expensive? So I'm going to use, I'm going to use this, um, uh, believe five dollars from Dollar General and I have, a, I have a sponge here's a sponge I'm gonna see if I can bring that I don't have oily skin, so I'm not trying to pack it on. came home on the Beltway when I left my sister's. That's I was going to go by Dollar General today. But again, thank you. I came home on the Beltway. So if I go, I had gone in Dollar General, 
That meant I would have been buying makeup. I don't care if it's $5. I'm not supposed to be. See how addicted I am? I be plotting my trips. I plot my trips so I can stop and buy makeup. So by me getting on the toll road, coming home, I didn't. I couldn't stop by Dollar General. I was saved by the toll. Saved by the toll. Okay. Y'all help me. Help me, help me, help me. Okay, so got it all got all that on my y'all know before I powder everything, I'm gonna go ahead and put lashes on. I plot my trips. And because I decided to take the toll road, because I didn't take the toll road going to her house this morning, I, uh, <laughs> I saw the Dollar General. I said, oh, I can stop at Dollar General on the way home. So because I did not take the same route home, just going the straight freeway coming back home. I say, I say my soul. You know, I was reading the directions on here yesterday, I think on Ulta's website. And it actually says that you're supposed to apply this on a, uh, a clean eye. And not over makeup. But oh well. Too late. Somebody said they they somebody disparaged it saying that it didn't work. I'm like, this does work. You just didn't know what you were doing. It works. This one isn't on. Let's see. There we go. It's on. Miss Parker is here. Miss Girls, these churches having COVID outbreaks. My church comes on online. YouTube. Uh. Jesus had said have faith the size of a mustard seed, but he didn't say be a fool. Somebody's calling me. I don't know who it is. I think it's the dentist's office. Y'all mind if I answer this right quick? I think it's the dentist's office. Hello? Hello? Hello. This is Castle Dental, Houston, calling to remind you of your dental appointment on Monday, December 21st, 2020 at 1 p.m. We see that you have not yet confirmed and want yes, to make I sure did. that time works for you. Please press 1 to confirm your appointment. If you I did confirm. Y'all texted me twice. For confirming <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I confirmed twice. 
Okay. Even one of the drag queens on Ulta's website said that this stuff is bomb. And he was saying, don't try to make a wing for it. It's glue. Because people were saying they couldn't make wings. It's like, why would I make a wing with the glue? You don't put the eyelash. This is an eyelash glue. Okay. This one wasn't on in that last video that I did. You could see a gap. So you can see it wasn't on correctly. But I tried to play it off. Yeah, liquid lipstick is for the birds. They can keep that. I don't see how people can walk around with dry lips. I, I don't see it. It hurts. Thank you. I'm, you know I'm trying. Let me go back. Um... Uh, I can't get Riz palette. She understands, but I keep posting it on my uh, stories. I'll promote her, but I'm on my no buy. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell you to order it online, but I did. Um, oh shoot, I could have used the Believe Foundation. I got the right color for myself. Well, it's a little orange, so I guess. I would need a lighter color, but I have hazelnut, and this is my summer shade. This is not my winter shade. So let's see. Then we're going to go. I'm going to pull out the Wet n Wild. The Wet n Wild. Um, I'm not going to use the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm going to use the. Wait a minute. This is Black Radiance. I'm going to use the Black Radiance. I have Wet and Wild as well. Yeah. I have both of them, but I'm going to use the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder on my entire face because everybody always says how you can setting powders and loose powders are different, but I'm going to use, this brush is too cute to use. I'm going to use I'm going to use a crown brush. Let's see if I can use this one. And I think I will have to use the lighter of the Fit Me's because this is all so dark. I'm just going to use a little of this as well.
they have nice lips, but they have nice lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeliner pencils, lip liner pencils. They have these are the only two primers that I purchased. Pretty and primed color correcting primer. And this is stay put makeup primer. So the pink one is stay put and the blue one is color correcting. And those are the only primers that I have. This is the translucent powder. Uh, and I, I, everything I watched after I saw Kim using it, I went in. I wasn't seeing everything at every store. Um, so when I found it, I picked it up. Okay, so okay, that's a lot. That color is when wild meets a little lighter color, but that's it's okay. Okay, so with this dark eye. I didn't know if I should go with this color. Should I go with this color blush? No, don't let her know. Keep it, keep, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it to yourself. Don't let her know what you're buying her. Um, and I told you, I told y'all, uh, cheeriness. Those little, I know this is not it, but I'm just saying, those little square and round mirrors that you can buy from Dollar Tree, you can use those to mix your foundations on. It's just a mirror. So, um, should I use this or should I get a pink one? Let's see. Oh, I wasn't supposed to use the blush out of that. I was supposed to use the blushing in Bali. This is the blush. So this is the blush. And I think I'm going to mix these two. I never mess with that light shade. That's that's the, for the light honey people. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the light, honey people. This is for us gorgeous, melanin rich, Ooh. honey ladies. I might have to put some of that on there just to, yep, just to take some of that off. Yeah, this is for the honey. This is for the light honey. Let me go back. And that's why I always go back over my blush. I always. Since I was a teenager, I've always used my powder brush, uh, brush to go back and diffuse out that blush. Some women can wear blush and they can have that blush chisel just like their felt their contour and it's so pretty. But I don't think that works on me. I gotta get rid of that. Um Where's that black sponge? I gotta rub that all the way in. 
That's it. And I'll stay in this palette. I was going to use the Frosé. Let's see if I may can still use the Frosé. The Frosé is actually for the light honey chicks. The light and the white honey chicks. And that is... <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. I'm just going to use the blush brush. And I'm going to go in. It's all a highlighter palette. So this is not even. This one is not blush at all. Okay, that's pretty. All right. Let's tune it, tune it out. Okay. Okay, I'm done with all of those. And now I'm going back. And I'm going back. I think instead of flamenco just yet, I'm gonna go with this this shade here, Picasso. And I'm just gonna take a wet and wild brush. I think this is the concealer brush, it is. And I'm just gonna take Picasso. And I'm going to bring it all. I can tell the difference between Picasso and Flamenco. One is a black and this one is a true, Flamenco is a true dark blue. Yeah. So I got the blue down. But I'm going to go back to Flamenco and I'm going to put Flamenco over it. This eyelash is coming off. This eyelash is coming off, so let's see if we can fix it. Hopefully it'll stay down because I didn't wait. That's a cheap eyelash glue.
I didn't put enough down. So let's go back to Flamenco. And Hey, beautiful, beautiful, and if I can find that, here we go, this fall shade again, we're going to go back to that fall shade, find that little brush that we used. I don't see the little brush that we used. So let's see if I can use this little cheap applicator. Where's that brush? There it is. Okay, it worked. It worked. There's the brush though. I'm gonna wet it. I'm going to wet it. We didn't use this putty primer, so we can put that back. And again, I'm just using my old stuff. An old um, says primer spray, primer makeup setting spray. So is it primer or is it setting? I don't know. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to take some mascara. Put it on the bottom lash. And then we're going... I'm not going to add any, any uh, eyeliner to the bottom. I'm going to leave it like it is. And since I have a pink top and this little pink scar from Dollar Tree, everything that I have on, I have paid less than $20 for it, including the Laura Mercier mascara. So I'm going to take this pencil, lip liner pencil, only because it's near. And my eyes watering. The Blushing in Bali and the sister to Blushing in Bali is the Glowing in Grease palette. So 
So BH did a very good job. Uh, here's the glowing in grease. So I'll show them to you side by side. Both of them are, that's, I like them both. They, I like them both. So I think us brown skin babes, we can rock both of them. And I do like the glowing in grease more. I like it more than the blushing in Bali. Oh, goodness. My eye is watering. Okay, so we got our lips, our lips lined and what color? I always mess up with the lipstick color. This is Laura Mercier, Rose Claire. Oh, I should have just gone with the Marvelous, the moths from Juvia's Place, a mauve moment. And I know these are supposed to be soft mats. I can handle this. Or maybe, Maybe we just need to keep it neutral. Yeah, girl, when I got the blush in Bali, I got the glowing in grease, the, the four palettes. Uh, I think it was four. I think it was four. It was the um, it was the beautiful in Barcelona, the love in London, hanging in Hawaii, the hanging in Hawaii may have come later. But the beautiful in the bar, beautiful in Barcelona, and the love in London were released at the same time, along with those two palettes, and that's part of BH's travel series. So, what do you do when you have? I can see that. Ooh, I've had y'all on here for an hour and 30 minutes. So how did it look, y'all? Got to do something about this hair. Go and wash the hair tonight. Got to wash the hair. Yeah. Yep, we got to wash the hair. 
I gotta check this brush out again. What is this brush for? It's a crown brush. Um, somewhere in my stash, ladies. I don't quite know where right now, but I do know that I have this master chrome in that pink. I just don't know where it's at right now, but I do know I have that in the pink. And let me go back to the Frosé. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the frosé. And like I said, I got my eyebrows threaded yesterday. And the lady had the nerve to tell me, she said, You have some really big eyes. And I'm like, Really? The better to see you with. And she's like, Yes, you have some beautiful. She said, well, she said, you know, you have big eyes. She said it twice. And then she finally said, but they're beautiful, though. I'm like, I know my eyes are big. They've been big for 50 years. I think my eyes get in the way when they're threading. Because when they're trying to get up in here, between here, my eyeballs, they get in the way. But that's my look. Thank you, Miss Parker and Miss Sarah, Miss Cheeriness, Marilyn, if you're still here. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. And thank y'all for even spending your Sunday with me. You know, you didn't have to do that. I really, really, really appreciate it. Because I know Sundays people are with their families. My son is up in Duncanville. That's where his girlfriend lives. No, that's not where she lives. That's where her mom lives. So they went to visit her this weekend. And I'm assuming they'll be here this weekend because it's his birthday. And honestly, if they don't come here for Christmas or his birthday, I'll really be okay. I raised my son to be so independent, but I know he's my son. He's my only son. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I want to see my mom. But if he doesn't come, I'm okay. I really will be okay because I'm not. I wasn't a helicopter parent. I was like, get out there, and if you fall, you fall. Get up. <laughs> I, I raised him to be so independent. I know what I want to do. One last thing. Yeah, see what I say? I, I do something and I start messing up. Where are all the brushes? Let's try this brush. Let me see if I can take feather. This is a pretty palette. Everything in here, these are not glitters. These are not pressed glitters. They are all shimmers. The entire palette is shimmers and it's nine something. Um, it's, it's sold out, I believe, on Perfusion's website, but I picked it up in, in Walmart. I think it was $9.83. And this was where I messed up yesterday. And knowing I'm supposed to be on a no buy. Yeah. Yeah, this is 
This is pretty, and their brushes are nice. I didn't use it, but Profusion's brushes are really nice. And they have a foundation. Um, but a lot of those palettes that were sold out on the website, I actually saw them in Walmart yesterday, in my Walmart. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of times the Profusion palettes, the shades are repeated in other palettes. So I have about seven or eight palettes. And you actually can look because they put names in them. You can see the name of this shade is in another shade. I haven't checked yet. So I don't know if I actually have these shades. But a lot of these shades will continue. This shade Cove. I may have that in another Profusion palette. Topaz. Oh, my God. That, that Let me swatch some of these for y'all. Since we already been here this long, let me swatch some of them. Let's see. Let me make sure my elbow is my elbow. You know, the last person told I still got it in my mind when somebody criticizes you. It's sometimes hard to get rid of that when she said my, I, my uh, elbows were ashy, so. Let's just make sure. Let me swatch some of these colors for y'all. Let me pull out another. Okay. I'm just going to go down the row. Feather, feather mixer, radioactive. And what did I do? And then I'll take ravishing. And this is like. Let's see. This is Feather, River. No, this Mixer. Some of these are toppers. Yeah, this is a topper. Radioactive is a dual. This is a dual chrome. Yeah. And this is ravishing. They're not showing up. But y'all they're not showing up. There we go. I think that's what it is. These need bases. They seem like they're more toppers. Okay, let's try Zenith. That's Zenith. Okay, Marvelous, Splendid, and Progress. Marvelous, Splendid, Progress. Marvelous, Splendid, Progress. Marvelous, Splendid, Progress. I'm not leaving a big dent in these, so maybe that's what it is. I'm not digging deep enough, but they're, it's not hard. Let me get some more of this out. Okay. What would be my favorite shade? Topaz.
perpetual gimme flaming okay Okay. Well, I wanted to buy the brow kit just to say <laughs> I know I don't need a brow kit that much, but I have the brow kit from BH Cosmetics. And I think it's about time for me to throw it away because I really don't use it. Maybe I'll try it again if it's not dry. If it's not dried out, I may try to extend my uh, my lash, my brow line. Okay, so I did flaming. That's flaming. Okay, we did abstract. I dug in the abstract. That's abstract. Here is monumental. Blazing. Seems like it's a topper. And cove. So let's try those right here. Of course, now we just have four more. Worldwide, I know Worldwide is in another palette. I've seen that name before. Selfish Whiskey. I don't know about whiskey, but let's try it. Worldwide, it's like a bronze. It's a dark metallic bronze. Whiskey. That's whiskey. Mosaic, which we know mosaic will show up. That's a duo chrome. Yeah, that's a blue purple duo chrome. And here's the selfish. This is like a black with green. Yeah. This is a black, black, gray, green. Let's go back to whiskey. Okay. Worldwide. Whiskey. That whiskey is, oh my God, that whiskey is nice. Mosaic. And selfish. Yeah, mosaic is a duo chrome, looks like. So, I wouldn't, I got it. I'll probably try it again. But if you're going to buy this palette for your kid, for your daughter, uh, your 14, 13, 14, I don't know what age you let your daughters play in makeup because of course I don't have a daughter and my mom let me start wearing makeup when I was 13 and in the 8th grade and but that doesn't mean everybody's parents are the same I would buy that palette for my daughter so Uh, you was ready to buy that palette. Hmm. 
All right. So, ladies, the second game has started. I'm going to put some pictures up and take the makeup off and, and let y'all enjoy the rest of your Sunday. It's 3.43 here, 4.44 in the east. Of course, it's 2.44 on the west coast. And if it's 2.44 where you are at 2.43, you have a lot of day left to go play uh, unless it's cold or rainy or snowy. And again, I keep thinking everybody is like it is here and you're not. It's 70 degrees outside and it's gorgeous. So thank you. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Oh, yeah. Did I say two is 143? Y'all are two hours behind. It's 143 in Arizona uh, or El Paso. That's the only place in Texas where they are an hour behind us. So, yeah, it's 143. No, it's 243 in El Paso <coughs> because they are in mountain time. They don't follow central time. So have a great day with the rest of your families uh, doing whatever it is you do. And I'm going to take some pictures and take the makeup off. I'm going to come on tomorrow. I think they're just fitting me. They're doing a fitting. Um, I have to get uh, a partial for the back over here. So I think that's all they're doing is fitting me for that. So depending on how, what they do, I'm going to come on. I'm going to put this with my brushes instead of back in that palette. And uh, I'm going to come on tomorrow. And it'll be late afternoon, maybe about four o'clock my time, 4.30. I don't know when I'll be done with the dentist's office. Um, what else? Uh, I'll be on Monday, Tuesday. I'll be on Tuesday early because I'll be at home all day Tuesday. I don't have any plans. Wednesday, I will be on. Thursday, I will be on. Friday, I may come on and wish y'all a Merry Christmas. And Saturday, if my son is here, I still may go on because they like to sleep late. This still didn't stick. It's still not stuck. So I'm just going to take that off and use the duo chrome. Duo chrome. The duo. And get that back on. So y'all have a good, good, good Sunday. Miss Tanya's Beauty Box, you just finished your video. You did? Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. You know what? Thank you. I wasn't expecting that. And I'm not going to get teary-eyed because you're going to make my inner corner mess up. I should have taken acting classes, but I can't memorize anything. So I'm just kidding, y'all. Thank you so much, Miss Tanya's Beauty Box. I appreciate that so much. I'm going to put this on. And remember this duo in the blue, the blue one? I don't know about the blue squeeze tube, but this one is the quick set. And of course, we like our kiss. Because as soon as you put this on, you apply your lash. But the, the, the end is not sticking. So let's try to get it back on. Let's just try to get it back on. And it's on, and I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Liner, and I hope this doesn't mess it up as well. Maybe it's just time for me to get rid of these lashes and pull out another pair, because 
this edge is just not going to stick. Let me my niece is FaceTiming me. Either she's FaceTiming me or her daughter is FaceTiming me. And I don't know why they're FaceTiming me instead of watching me on here. And I'm not going to give her my time yet. Okay. I got it on. So, thank you again. I really appreciate it. <sighs> okay. I got it on, and now I can take my pictures. Tanya's beauty box, hold on. Let me go and see. Am I subscribed to you? Because if I'm not, I'm going to do it right now as we speak. Is it Tanya's beauty box? Yep, Tonya's Beauty Box. Hello. Is that Welcome you? Welcome to day two of Whimsy Beauty with TMV. That's I'm you. Tanya, hey, Tonya. back <clears throat> to my channel. Let me subscribe. Hello, and welcome to day two of Whimsy Beauty with TMV. Okay, I'm, I'm, Tanya, I'm subscribed. I'm welcome you back. Okay, and then I'm going to go watch it. You know, I'm going to go watch your videos while I'm watching. The, the, uh, the Texans lost. I think they lost. I'm sure they lost. So I'm going to watch the Saints and the Kansas City Chiefs. And uh, yeah, Miss, uh, yeah, if you have, if you have a YouTube channel, and I know it's just us five in here right now or four. I don't even know how many of us are on here because that number is not always indicative of how many people are really in here. Subscribe to each other's channel. Let's, let's grow each other's channel. The little people, as we come together, we make bigger people. So uh, I'm subscribed, Ms. Parker. If you have a, a YouTube channel, let us know so we can subscribe to you. If it's gardening, if it's cooking, uh, if it's makeup, if it's hauls, uh, if any of y'all know how to sew, and y'all can teach me how to sew because I have a sewing machine and I don't even know how to thread it. <laughs> I wish I could sew, but I could. I can't sew. But let's follow each other. Let's let's build each other's channels up. It, we we start small, but we grow tall. That was my son's fifth kindergarten graduation song. I may be small, but I act tall. <laughs> oh, so oh, kindergarten. He'll be twenty eight Saturday. So I'm gonna let y'all go. It is three fifty one. It's time to put the pictures up and then time to peel the makeup off. And y'all have a good Sunday and thank y'all for joining me. I mean, almost two hours. I, I did not mean to keep y'all this long, but I'm certain. I, I'm really certain I'll be on tomorrow afternoon. And when I come on, I'm sorry if y'all are working, but I'm off for the next two weeks to January 4th. And I'm going to use that time to play in makeup. I'm going to play in makeup for the next two weeks. My, my IG is at jonesgirl70. At jonesgirl. I think I spelled it wrong. Jonesgirl70. That is me. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Oh, yeah. And see, I put um, Urban Vibes. I did. I shared her uh, palette queendom on my stories. So, and if y'all know this girl right here, y'all don't know her, but she's Jamaican. Follow her, Jen, J-H-E-N, Makeup Artistry. She has a beautiful spirit, a beautiful soul. She's 28 years old. She does a great job, and I sought her out.
because of our eyes. We are ladies with big eyes, big protruding eyes. And I wanted to figure out how to properly apply makeup to big protruding eyes. And that's how I came across her. And she is so sweet and she does a great job. And she's in Jamaica. She's a young Jamaican uh, makeup artist on the side. And she's just a sweet spirit. So I keep saying, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all go this time. So I'm not gonna say Merry Christmas because we're gonna see each other tomorrow. So uh, I'm off to the fourth. I'm off to the fourth. So I'm going to lay, no, I can't lay on my couch because it's white. I gotta get the makeup off first. Shoot. All right, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Alicia. You missed two hours. <laughs> but thank you for coming, Alicia. And I'm going to let y'all go and have a great rest of your Sunday. So bye, y'all, because I'm about to start talking about something else. <laughs> Check out her channel and follow her on IG, Jen, J-H-E-N, uh, Jen Makeup Artistry. I think that's what it is. And she does a very good job. Very, very good job. So y'all have a very good Sunday afternoon. See y'all tomorrow. Love you.